So, I mean, how does it feel? Uh, you're five days out from a grand final, the first grand final as a first grader. Uh, yeah. yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, pretty excited, very nervous. Um, you know, we're just here doing the, all the media stuff. Um, tomorrow, we're going to get back into our training regime. Um, you know, just probably watch the video of Warrington and our, our last week's game as well. Um, but very, very excited and uh, nervous uh, come Saturday. You missed out in the grand final last year through suspension. I mean, you must be over the moon to be uh, fit and uh, available to play. Uh, yeah, like definitely. Um, I think last year it was, it was maybe a blessing in disguise. I don't think I would have comprehended how much the atmosphere yep. uh, would have been, you know, especially if this year's my first year um, playing grand final. Um, you know, the atmosphere last year was very loud, it was noisy, but it was uh, mind blowing. So I'm um, really looking forward to for that again. So uh, you just went and watched in the stand, so you really sort of soaked up the experience yeah. and you know learned what it was about. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I was on a field and you couldn't hear anyone like two meters away from you. You kind of just shouted. Uh, just, just how loud the crowd was. So, um, kind of hopefully have that again on Saturday. So, yeah. And Warrington, I mean, they've got some great forwards there. Chris Hill, Ashton Sims. Um, you're looking forward to getting stuck into those boys come Saturday. Yeah, It'll definitely. Be a, you know, tough game. Yeah, you know, we, uh, you know, we've spoke about them, and we believe that that's where the strength is through the middle. You know, Hill and Sims are playing some great footy. Um, same as Clark, you know, uh, Hill and Clark have been we're in the Super League uh, dream team this year. So. Um, you know, it's got to be a big challenge for myself as well, playing in the middle, um, to kind of limit their involvement in the game. So, but you know, looking forward to it. And your form this season's been been exceptional. I mean, do you put that down to anything? You just more comfortable now at Wigan after you know another another season under your belt? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think my first season here is, is a bit of a culture shock. Um, at Wake, it was, it was a really relaxed environment. Yep. Um, but obviously, being at Wigan's a very intense. You know, they pride themselves on being a winning team and uh, they have a winning culture so um, and not just that but like I feel like the team has kind of uh, has played some pretty good footy as well um, you know I think my form just comes down to me doing my own job to be honest um, and just kind of keep it simple and we're going to have kind of been cursed by injuries this year but you, you guys keep going along you keep keep getting the results um, obviously hoping one more even without you know the Tompkins boys and Sean Lachlan and a lot of others yeah definitely you know we've got like I think eight of our starting players are out injured and they've been injured uh, throughout the whole year almost um, but you know we've we pride ourselves on our juniors you know they've kind of stepped up um, and taken like and taken a lead role you know like we got um, Suddy that goes up for the junior player of the year yep. um, this year you know it's hard to believe he's only just turned 21 a couple, probably a month ago I think um, you know he's very very mature for his age um, but not that you know you got George Williams uh, playing starting six and everything um, I think just a credit down to our, our young guys, and you know they're all Wigan players, uh, Wigan born and bred. So they, for them, this would be like massive for them.